Hey guys, this is CFO Mods Gaming, and today's video is brought to you in partnership with Wallabot. I just got home from my trip, found a package on my door from Amazon Prime, and it is the Wallabot DIY, which is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. All right, guys, we are here with the Wallabot DIY, and we are going to open this up and take a first look. So it comes in a plastic wrapping, which we will pull off here. And we did order this just direct from Amazon. If you just search Wallabot or Wallabot DIY um, wall scanner, you will find it. Has a couple seals there. Uh, we just open it up. Pretty straightforward packaging. There it is inside. That is the Wallabot itself with its reusable pad on the back that sticks to your phone. I'm not actually quite sure how that works yet. We're going to find out. I'm sure that might be magnetic or something. All right, let's take a look inside. We've got our micro USB to micro USB and our micro USB to type C, depending on what kind of Android phone you're using. Uh, here we have a gel pad. Oh, so I guess that's what we'll actually use back here is the gel pad. And that will stick it to our phone. So we'll set that there. Um, we have, looks like some um, tape on possibly like a screen cleaner uh, to use with the back of the phone so that it sticks well. And that is everything that is in the box. You got some basic instructions on the back, just kind of going through that it can be used with, with wooden studs, metal studs, pipes, wires, which kind of talks about on the front as well. So we'll go ahead and set this box aside. Comes with the instruction manual here in all kinds of different languages. Looks like it just has this initial setup here. Oh, where's English? Oh, we got to go from the other side. Contents and getting started. Okay. So... We've got, of course, the Wallabot DIY sensor, USB cable for both kinds of Android phones, gel pad, plastic film, getting started. We're going to go to the Google Play Store and download the Wallabot DIY app. So let's go ahead and grab our Android phone and we'll do that. All right, so now let's jump in over to the Play Store and we will download the Wallabot DIY application. That is a pretty easy process. The name of the app is just Wallabot DIY. That goes with our Wallabot DIY device, as it says in the instructions. And it's actually just a two-step process. It says to go to the Google Play Store and download the Wallabot DIY app, and then watch our setup guide at wallabot.com slash DIY vid. So we will go ahead and let this finish install, and then jump on over to that website. All right, guys, so we've got the Wallabot DIY app installed on our phone. And per the getting started instructions, we are going to do step number two, which is to watch our setup guide at www.wallabot.com slash DIY vid. So let's hop on over to that. And we will go to the setup guide since we are doing a setup right now. We've unboxed the Wallabot DIY. We have already downloaded the app and we have allowed it to access the device via USB. And now we will go ahead and open the Wallabot DIY app. All right. And on our phone here, it's telling us we need to use the protective film to prevent wall scuffing. Attach the phone to the Wallabot DIY using the gel pad. So let's go ahead and do that here real quick. So we will get our gel pad here that we've taken off of the plastic covers. And it looks like it just lays right in the middle of this circle here. I'm going to try to get it perfectly in. There it is, just right in the middle of that circle. And we have put the clear um, screen protector kind of device there. And we'll just stick it to the back of our phone just like that. And it does peel. Uh, it's a reusable gel pad that can be washed. 
that just peels right on or peels right off and can be placed right back on. So we'll just put those right there and you can see that was pretty pretty on there. Now it says to connect the Wombot DIY via the included USB cable. Now we have a type C cable and we also have a micro USB uh, depending on the type of Android phone you're using, you'll need one of the two, just whichever your phone uses. Uh, we are currently using an HTC One, so we will use the micro USB. So we'll pop this out of its packaging here. And plug it into the phone and the Wallabot. And it just plugs in via the micro USB on the bottom of the Wallabot. And once we get both of those plugged in, you'll see there's a blue light on the Wallabot. We have a message pop up on our screen asking if it can use the device. We'll hit OK. And connecting. All right, and you'll see Wallabot DIY connected. Select wall type. Wallabot DIY scans concrete and drywall a bit differently. And we are going to be scanning drywall today. That's what we have here behind me. And so we will select drywall. Place Wallabot DIY directly on the wall, then tap Calibrate. Wallabot will learn about your wall. Calibrate on each new wall. Um, one quick note here before we move on. I did want to point out that on the actual cable itself, there is the words phone and Wallabot. And you do need to make sure that you're plugging in the phone into the cable to the phone and the Wallabot into the cable into the Wallabot. I did have a little bit of trouble with that and was receiving an error until I realized that they are um, in specific. So let's go ahead and jump over to the demonstration of calibrating. So before we get on to the wall, I did want to finish taking a look at this setup manual. Uh, we finished the getting started as far as connecting the device, uh, connect your Wallabot to your phone. It already gave us those instructions on screen using Wallabot DIY effectively. So we have to select our wall type calibrate the device, and then there's different viewing modes. And we'll get into that in a moment once we're on the wall that we can use for different situations. And tips and tricks, calibration, pan mode, images mode, and expert mode. So this is great when you guys are learning how to use the Wallabot. You can come on here for each uh, specific job that you might be doing and see necessarily what you might be able to do better to be able to get better images and have a better idea of what's going on behind that wall so you don't have any DIY mistakes or things that end up costing you more time and money than not using this Wallabot at all. All right, guys, so we're about to jump into the demo. And as we do, I'm going to watch along with you and kind of explain what we have going on and how you can apply the Wallabot DIY in your DIY applications. So here we have the Wallabot DIY in images mode. So as we're coming across the wall here, we are able to see live images of what is behind the wall. Uh, so here we just passed a wooden stud. You saw that. And we're coming. I think he has a 16 or 18 inch gap here. So we have another wooden stud uh, that he's focusing on there now. And you can actually uh, see here we have a wire that is running. And we can kind of deduce that we have that wire running along the stud vertically um, because we see that vertical stud. And then we see that, that pipe wire as the Wallabot identifies it. Now coming across the room, we're going to look at an excellent usage of the Wallabot DIY, which is looking at electrical applications. Of course, whenever we're doing any DIY projects, we want to make sure that we're drilling into a stud to get a solid anchor, but we also want to make sure that we're never hitting a pipe or wire uh, behind our, our drill. So here we have uh, a, a couple of light switches, uh, two sets of light switches. And so we're able to identify where we have the stud uh, run the, along the left side, the electrical wires running down that stud to all of these switches. And then um, above that, we see the electrical wires that are running uh, across to the far wall, uh, which is very interesting because we see this DIY project that was done directly above this. And he was actually unaware of these wires that were running right under the project that he was working on. And again, an excellent usage of the Wallabot DIY. We see right here in the video, it's kind of hard to tell, but if you look right at that black metal hook, we see that it's not directly lined up with that wooden stud. 
that it was actually drilled into. So although he hit the stud, uh, he would have actually been able to center it in the stud if he had had the Wallabot DIY when completing this project. So you see again that stud on the left is just a little bit to the left of where it was screwed in. Again, we're seeing that wire that came across from the light switches on the right. Here we're enabling expert mode so that we can get a better idea of what is actually going on uh, behind the wall as far as that set of wires that is running to the light switches below the DIY project here. We can see fainter or darker images as the DIY is better able to pick up on the intensity of the signals that it's receiving, which relates to the depth of what we're actually seeing behind the wall. So we see here is that stud that we saw earlier, which the Wallabot helped us identify as a wooden stud. And coming across, we're able to see that wire that is running horizontally to those light switches. We'll be able to follow it right down to that set of switches and then also see the stud there again that we had found earlier, the wire that runs down, and we will also be able to see the bridge running between these two boxes, which is identified here. We're also able to then find the stud that is running on the right side. Of course, the Wallabot uses radio frequency, so it will react to anything that it sees. So it, it, it mentioned that like it showed like a little mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could, like sense movement as well. Right. Let's do um, a, a pan and then save the image so I can put it in the video. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're now going to run a pan across this wall to be able to show you guys an example of what that kind of an image would look like uh, to get really a full idea of what is behind this wall, give us an image that we can then work off of. We would then be able to mark off the distances that we have between, for instance, studs, these different wires that are running along studs. Um, we have the horizontal wire, which we would need to use uh, images or expert mode to, to map out. But we're able to then get this image that shows us, uh, along with measurements of how far things are apart, everything that we're seeing behind that wall. The maximum pan distance is 60 inches. So if you were to make a tick at the center of the wallabot at the start, you would be able to map out 60 inches of your wall at a time. And that took us about 15 seconds to, to do. And usually, I mean, we're only going to be working within that amount of a wall for most DIY projects anyway. If not, you can make another tick mark and start again for another 60 inches. The most hip way to send images. I'm sure that's some concrete we could do, but I don't know. So your first time using the Wallabot, how did you how did you feel? Really easy. I mean, it, it just sees through the wall and tells me where there's studs and where there's wires. And it so saved me a little heartache when hanging that. So if you were hanging something like that, uh, did you think this would be easier than like using a stud finder or? I'd say it's uh, just as easy, but better quality because you can see exactly where it starts and ends, which is really handy when trying to find out where you want to put screws in a wall. So you can hit the exact middle of the stud with this. Exactly. That's awesome. And I saw you were even using expert mode there. I wanted to track where the wires went to these boxes, which is actually a lot more accurate than I thought it would be. And on your first time even using the, the app and the Wallabot, you were able to do that with pretty good accuracy, it seemed like. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to test out the movement capabilities of the Wallabot. We're just here on a kitchen cabinet door. Oh, my answer. And we are going to now calibrate the wall a lot to this new surface. And now let's see if we can see some movement here behind the, the door. And there it is, just very clearly, very responsive. If there uh, was a mouse or a rat running through that wall, it would be very easy to see that. So you could just set up the wallabot if you thought you may have some mice, set up the wallabot uh, and leave it kind of on, just sit in there and, and just... I'm not even touching the cabinet door right now. I'm, I'm, I'm a good two inches behind it, I'd say, and it's still finding me. It's a little bit weaker right there, but it still knows that I'm there. 
So even if you had a big space in your wall that something was moving up behind in, you'd definitely be able to see it. So you know if it's moving back and forth or across even. Oh, right. So that's back and forth. Because it's, you know, more intense or less intense. And then across, it's always intense, you know, there. That's pretty slick. As you guys have seen, the Wallabot DIY can be used in a variety of different applications, including on both drywall and concrete walls to see up to four inches deep. You can see both wooden and metal studs, as well as pipes and wires, and you can even use expert mode to see motion behind your walls. To learn more, go to Wallabot's website. The link is in the description. Their social links are also found down there, so make sure to check them out. And so far, this has been CFO Muds Gaming. Out.